You may have heard that Washington State is planning on suing all water rights holders in Whatcom County. That lawsuit may very well cause some, or even many, to lose their right to water. Farmers and well owners will be part of the lawsuit. So will our cities and towns. And that means those of us in our cities and towns may lose access to water along with farmers and well owners. You might ask, how can this be? And why would our state take such action? The most basic reason is the need for fish and the importance of having enough cold water in the river during the summer and fall for fish to thrive. Most salmon spawn from September to December because they need the temperature to be between 40 and 55 degrees. They may enter the river much earlier and spend late spring to summer in the fresh water, but they wait for the water to cool before spawning. Climate studies show that temperature in our area has been rising even while summer rains have been decreasing. Temperature of the water in streams and rivers depends on enough flow and riparian cover. Riparian cover refers to the trees and plants that shade streams during the hot summer and fall. But the amount of water in the streams also is essential for temperature. Tragically, last September 2,500 spawning salmon in the Nooksack River died because of high temperatures related to low flow. Climate projections say that we will continue to experience warmer temperatures and lower than previous rainfall. That means that unless something is done, salmon recovery efforts in the Nooksack will face increasing difficulties. Storage reservoirs, such as found on similar rivers across the state and region, are the only long-term solution to the twin problems of too little and too much water in our river. But why is the state suing water rights holders and how will the lawsuits help keep enough water in the river and streams? Simply put, the state is asking the courts to decide how much water in our river and streams is needed for fish. And then once that is known, how much water each person or group holding water rights will get. If the court decides there is not enough water for fish and also for those holding water rights, then the remaining limited amount of water will be allocated based on seniority. The state's water law is based on what is called first in time, first in right. That means the persons or groups with the oldest water rights are most senior. The court will almost certainly find that those who lived in this area first, the members of the two local tribes, have the most senior water rights. These rights predate the 1917 law when the state first started issuing rights to those who arrived after the Indians. Now you may see where this is going. The first priority is for the fish. The next priority is for those with the most senior rights. After them comes those with junior rights. If there is not enough water in the river and streams for fish, then to protect fish, only those with senior rights will be allowed access to water. All others will not be allowed to use water. Since we have massive floods during part of the year, we might assume we have plenty of water. We do in the fall, spring, and winter. In the summer, with less rain and hot weather, the amount of water in the river and streams decreases. So during most of the year, water would likely not be cut off. But when the flow gets low enough, those allowed to continue to use water will be those with the most senior rights. That's why finding out who has the right to use water and how much water they are allowed to legally use is important. That is why the state is asking the court to answer these questions. But it is a very lengthy and very expensive process. It will likely take 30 or 40 years and cost the state and those defending their rights hundreds of millions of dollars. The biggest problem is that the lawsuits will not add one drop of water to our river and not do a single thing to help solve our flood problems. We think there is a much better way to resolve these questions of fish and who gets how much water. Negotiated settlements are now preferred by most in resolving these difficult issues. More about this in upcoming videos.